Hey, I'm gonna show you how I make my binding and uh, purfling. So I've got my uh, binding strips here, or actually purfling, which is gonna be black, white, blue, and another white, and then ebony binding on top of that. All right, so this is a pretty simple process. Start with the, the bottom piece, which is gonna be ebony. Center it on my clamping block here. I'm gonna tape it down on one end. Find my glue. This is a speedball roller. I think it's a two inch. Apply that glue on here. I want to go just a little bit more glue. there. Now my white strip. It's a little bit shorter. That's okay. Gonna tape it down as well. That's so it doesn't move when I glue everything up. this. I'm using Tight Bond Original, which is my favorite because it releases well under heat. So when I cut this up and bend it, it'll bend just fine. All right. My blue strip. Next, apply more glue. My white strip here, tape it down. And next I glue, put glue on this. Now I cap that off with my ebony strip here, and this one is a bit, a little bit thicker piece of tape. And this one I'm going to put several spots because I definitely do not want this one to shift around. all glued on there. Take my clamping cowl, put that on there, and just to hold it until I get all my clamps on there, I'm going to use these uh, seven inch, I think these are, are Talisa clamps. I love these spring clamps. These are great. Get those on there. Now I'm going to take my 
four inch clamps. Since I'm going to alternate, I'm going to put it about every eight inches or so here, I think. I just like the tighter uh, clamping I get with these C clamps. So I just go the other direction. You might find you have to move these to get the spacing that you want. That's fine. Here we go. Off to the next step. Okay, so my log is now off of the, the clamps, the cowls, and now I'm going to um, uh, plane this edge. Now here's a simple setup that you can do. You can have like uh, some kind of block here with a, a flat edge. And then I use these uh, wood clamps here to hold it on and then these to secure this board this is a real simple method right here okay there's my plane and I've already uh, planed that edge but you can see this is going to be what our binding and purfling is going to look like so this is ebony and the, the veneers are white blue white and then this is a black veneer. I think on earlier I called it ebony. It was it's actually a black veneer. All right. So your next step is to um, get a nice uh, flat edge right here on this. Now we're going to cut it into strips. Well, after taking everything to the bandsaw and cutting these uh, off the log into about 100 and 110 thousandths wide or thick strips. I was able to get about, I think I got about nine of them off the bandsaw, off the, the log. Okay, so now my next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these through my Gilbert thickness sanding disc on my drill press. Um, these I'm going to get down to about 70 thousandths thick. 
for the lattice guitar uh, binding that I'm going to be using these on. All right, so that's my next step. All right, we're going to see how I run these through my Gilbert sanding disc. Gilbert sanding disc is here. I'm going to run these through it. These are great masks, RZ masks. Highly recommend these. Okay, I've got these uh, thicknessed off the Gilbert sanding disc to 70 thousandths. Now I'm ready to bend them. All right, so we've taken the side binding and purfling out of the side bender. And they are now complete and ready to be installed. So that's how I do it. All right, there you go. So that's how I make the uh, side bindings and purflings. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.